I, I, you know what, I've talked to a few passing buyers, the runners here this morning out in Central Park. And by the way, I found a nice rock uh, to stand on right outside the Plaza Hotel. And maybe you see what's called the Central Park Pond behind me with the bridge. But yeah, I think people are, are kind of loving this feel here this morning because, you know, it's not that cold. It's really not windy. And this is sort of fluffy snow coming down. So there are a lot of people uh, out and about and in the distance maybe you could make out the silhouettes of some of the people crossing uh, the bridge there but uh, yeah it's been a long time right 701 days but here we go take a look uh, at some of the streets of uh, Manhattan uh, one of the big boroughs here uh, the on the island from this morning before the sun came up as uh, Times Square lit up all the always lit up but when the snow comes down even more exciting if you can just kind of look up at those lights flashing and the snowflakes coming down and commuters uh, out and about this morning across uh, the city uh, making it to work, braving uh, that chilly temperature and some of that light snow uh, this morning. Uh, and of course, we know uh, 19,000 lane miles all across New York, and that is what the New York City Sanitation Department uh, has uh, hundreds of vehicles out. Uh, I mean, when when they get two inches here, if we do today, they'll start actually plowing. But in the meantime, they're dropping rock salt uh, down on all these roads. Uh, of course, we may see some uh, some issues at the airports. You know, JFK on Long Island already received uh, two plus inches. LaGuardia uh, is about to where we're at here at Central Park as the snow continues. Uh, to fall. It's really quite beautiful. But as these temperatures go up, Stephen, you made this point last time I talked to you last hour, then we may get a little bit more wetness as far as the precip on the ground. But I mean, can you get more visual than where I'm standing right now uh, on this beautiful spot here in Central Park? This is why I always say uh, that if you if you want to experience snow in the U.S. besides the mountains, of course, uh, out west, or maybe even uh, Vermont, places like that. Central Park is one of the coolest urban places to, to experience a wintry weather scenario. And that is exactly what it is today. Just beautiful out here. Uh, and we'll see how much more falls. I think uh, Robert found the rock where they measure that snow. Possibly. I see the bridge in the background. They just reopened that bridge, too. So, Robert, maybe yeah. you can walk over to the bridge and see how things look from that perspective. It's fascinating. Central Park, since 1869, yeah. the records have been kept. It's one of the, the longest reporting stations in in the country not the longest but but one of them so it's it's a cool feat to see and robert congrats you've been there that uh on a day where we finally recorded exactly one inch yeah. since since midnight we'll hope for maybe a little bit more we'll see what the temperature does fox weather correspondent robert ray good to see you snow has been falling overnight early this morning now that the sun's up we are able to to enjoy it i i guess it's enough to sled uh, but but most schools are in session today. I know that there are a few out in Jersey that, that have called off in this in the tri-state area, but I, it's it's not much. And yeah. and I don't know even how long it's going to last. Uh, yeah, it's not enough to sh say per se shut the city down. It wasn't even enough to for plow trucks to really get That's working true. this morning. But nonetheless, it was still a pretty big deal in terms of ending that snowless streak. Willow Grove, Pennsylvania. Seth Darling. He's on active duty right now. He's he's with our, our weather presentation. He's a weather producer. And then Stephen McLeod this morning. He took some of the video. At, at Herald Square. See, when, when the snow falls, we capture that video. A and in Brooklyn, Philadelphia, Baltimore, Boston, all these cities picking up on a little bit of snow. Boston, we haven't had such a significant streak, but we have in, in Philadelphia and Boston. And, and like I had said, that streak for them ended yesterday. A and when we look at it, the, the 95 corridor for as long as, as we've been waiting on this snow, I think a lot of us probably thought when we get that inch, it's going to be a big storm. Yeah, it no, wasn't. not the case at all. Uh, you know, we were saying that, though. You and I were covering this maybe yesterday. Maybe a little wishful. We were wishful mm -hmm. about a little bit more than maybe an inch of snow exactly. But yeah. it was just enough to break the streak, and that's really what the bigger story was. We were wishing for a bigger storm. Typically in the Northeast, we do see bigger storms than this. You could see that this isn't the biggest uh, snowstorm that we've ever, you know, forecasted or watched very closely. But nonetheless, it did its job, Stephen. We were really watching yeah. big cities along the I-95 corridor to see and to see whether or not we broke that streak. And we sure enough did in a lot of areas, well over an inch the farther south we went. But New York, as you mentioned, just hitting it on the nose. We still are getting in on some wet flurries out there right now in some areas, heavier snow uh, off towards the north expected across the New England region. So not all is said and done. We could end up seeing the rest of this day 
uh, maybe getting near to two inches. Not going to say it just yet. Yeah. But it's, it, it, there's still that chance. It'll be it'll be close. And I guess if you are keeping track uh, as far as two inches, we have to still. It wasn't too far from this streak in New York City. You had a couple of weeks. Uh, it was late January that we picked up more than two inches at Central Park. So that streak's going to continue. But as far as travel is concerned, it has been a bit of an issue for some ground delays at Newark and LaGuardia. Those are weather related. The ground stop at JFK, we're told, is uh, is not related to the weather. But the cancellations and the, the delays even this morning have been trending up. So we'll we'll continue to, to watch. I'm Amy Freeze. Welcome to Fox Weather's YouTube page. We have more great videos on the way, so make sure to subscribe to stay updated on all things weather.